Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Last time we got ambushed and at the end we could level up our characters. And typically that wouldn't be too much of a thing, but uh, I felt uh, the characters actually had some really meaningful features that uh, we have gotten. So just want to highlight that and then we're going right into the episode. So our tank now has Bulwark, which is going to solve one of our big problems because he gets a ranged de damage deflection um, against ranged attacks uh, based on the unyielding beacon sticks uh, that they do have and more importantly becomes immune to push so that he can't be forced to um, lay on the ground and uh, then hit so that's pretty damn good i like it uh, we got Pascal, who got a stronger stratagem, which essentially is a buffing stratagem. You pick one of the areas uh, that uh, these guys have, frontline, backline, rear. And keep in mind that rear, for instance, uh, sorry, backline, for instance, already have a 16% dodge reduction, but also 15% extra cover um, and dodge on top of that. Anyways, the stratagem uh, gives 7% armor. And the more important part is cannot be overpenetrated. That means no critical hits against uh, them by um, by the amount of high hit chance, and they gain two extra deflections against any form of AOE attack. So very good. The idea is to basically have uh, the battlefields plus um, Iridia, or when we do have another. Um, uh, another uh, another psi ability to uh, cover our defenses so these guys sort of buff us with defenses then a cool part for Argenta is wildfire and I really like that one because it sets the tone for multi-attack so the arch militant um, can attack for zero AP and will not count towards the attack limit which is great I think I'll skill that on Saiken as well um, but it has three AP as a cost however um, if you do have four stacks of versatility uh, the cost um, is reduced by one so if you for whatever reason reach 12 stacks of versatility which i can think um, of in a longer fight uh, wildfire is essentially for free which is great it gives you even more consideration uh, that you are continuously switching up uh, the actions and uh, the versatility i still have a bit of a challenge with that it's single shot or um, area shot or bur burst which means at the moment uh, we do have uh, easy way of single shotting um, and the other option is basically uh, to use uh, the burst option but the burst option sometimes isn't that great because people are standing in the way so i still need to find a better way of positioning her she uh, excels in a position where she's kind of holding one flank and then just shooting it down or the middle and shooting it down whilst i think that the sniper um, Saiken can work a little bit more around the edges. Anyways, next up uh, we uh, got Idiria, and with uh, her ability to already be uh, having Word of the Emperor, I now also took Shield of the Emperor, so she's effectively doing the same uh, gig that Heinrichs was uh, doing earlier. Uh, she has that double combination, but on top of uh, the double whammy, she also has four boding, uh, which gives 8% dodge and prevents the dodge uh, chance to never be lower than 28%. 20 is the base and 8% on top of that, so that's pretty damn uh, good. I think these three together uh, could make for really, really nice um, a combination of uh, of just defensive abilities. Um, I would of more often go uh, for the Shield of the Emperor, but realistically, like all three of them are great, and she does have uh, aggressive uh, ones as well. Then I looked into the Navigator's um, targets uh, because we had meant reality. The last uh, extension of meant reality was, I would say, a time capsule where you're uh, putting 
a buff onto an ally and then next turn you can just bring them back to hit points of this round which generally is fine but is it really is it really needed um yes it, it could be a good healing but i'm not sure if i like it that much what i do like is people being out of cover and notch of uh, purpose for one ap and then the um, bigger uh, the bigger one uh, or the upgraded uh, one which would be da -da 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 -da. Uh, point of curiosity that looks like a really good one all enemies within a six cell radius need to immediately move three cells towards a point uh, by the way stacks with notch of purpose so i could basically draw everybody out of the cover and then uh, force them to come even closer some of them to a middle point that seems like a really 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 good setup for any aoe blasting and other than that she does have the whole um, bring it down officer uh, thing uh, and a couple of buffs with her my only problem is she has too many good um, actions i am hoping that i can somehow get her action economy better in order and then finally saiken has moved into the um, pyromancy i gave him the new staff pyromancy is quite cool because um, whilst the shout here is nice for 7 to 16 points of damage i think py pyromancy really does uh, the damage job a little bit better uh, deals a similar amount of damage um, but then penetrates five percent of the armor and the uh, target begins to burn and continues to have that armor penetration and if it doesn't make an agility test, um, it continu uh, continues to burn. So it's a really additional um, damage over time for a single uh, creature, like a boss type uh, creature. More importantly, uh, he now has this staff, uh, which we couldn't use beforehand. And I already checked that Inferno is a pretty damn good skill. Um, no, it's a pretty damn good skill so uh, just to put it into perspective relatively high willpower that we're getting uh, from it and this year uh, does warp warp burn as well and uh, we'll have uh, the psi rating which is one plus uh, the staff rating which is seven uh, points of damage um, and the projectile there is going appar apparently through um, through all of uh, the characters um yep 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 uh seven uh, projectiles shoot uh, through it have a good uh, chance to hit anyone in the center um, and a moderate chance to hit those uh, along the way creatures that are hit by two or more projectiles uh, also get burned so that's a lot of damage from my perspective it's like an auto burst fire but with uh, psi energy so i'm going to see about that seems like a very legit way of um, of burning down enemies and it is another uh, option for versatility so he can use the sniper and then next up the pyromancer staff and if that doesn't work he still has his psychic powers so that's really all there is for the update let's seize the opportunity and i think what we want to do uh, is we want to now uh, get to the tavern because that's where that mysterious uh, woman had been. The world will Good. bow. Let's do that. I walk there and uh, we'll rejoin when I'm there. Okay, there we are in the middle of this wonderful the world saloon. Will bow. Let's find her. And whilst we're at it, I would really like to update the uh, open the locks here. This is is blessed with Fantastic. The world trembles beneath my feet. Rough day. You have no idea. I just might. That's the second bottle you've downed. 
Jai Hidari. Falco sends his regards. And what does that unholy scion of a Grox and a Brahan want from me this time? Oh, wait, I don't really care. My sole plans for tonight are drowning my grief in a sea of Amasak. We'll give you grief, all right. Get out! Don't think so, Ashmag. And tell Falco to come himself next time. <laughs> Dari, I am tired of your mess. Ow! Get some sleep. We'll talk about settling up later. Okti Sherin, light of my eyes. Can't you see my soul is full of sadness? Have you no horse at all? Let go of your material concerns and let me grieve in peace. Have we met somewhere before? The woman looks at you with a glassy eye of drunk. Uh, and you notice two empty bottles that have been keeping her company before she arrived. She completely looks out of place in this dingy, smoky bar, the fancy attire, the abundance of jewelry, the implants planted on her precious metals. Greetings, Sherim. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Rogue trader Saiken, Van Valencius. <clears throat> Von Valencius? My deepest, humblest regards, your lordship. I never would have imagined I'd be standing at the bar, in the Amasekus, next to an honest-to-god emperor rogue trader. Jai Hedari at your service. Professional trader, shrewd commercial broker, and, may ash he steal my tongue if I'm lying, the most honest dealer on footfall. Nonetheless, we all have our problems, and at times even one's many merits aren't enough to solve them. Perhaps it would be no trouble for a person with your kind of power and standing to assist someone with my kind of predicament. I have heard a great deal about how uh, open-minded the members of the Fon Falancius dynasty are, and Lady Theodora especially. What do you need help with? You see, Sherin, there's one cardinal rule on football. Anything goes, as long as it doesn't get in the way of business. I'm someone who's been able to exploit that rule to the fullest. And in recent years, I've hit it so big, I've become a speck of sand in someone's green eye. They used to throw small wrenches into my dealings here and there. But well, now they've decided to really put their backs into it. Some rats stole my cargo and dragged it off to the seediest part of the Shadow Quarters. A crummy place even for connoisseurs of... When I asked the Leech for protection, we had a mutual misunderstanding. I believe Vladayim, in a most lamentable fashion, has forgotten his duties as guardian of the downtrodden and wronged. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. And you, Sherin, fit the bill perfectly. All I need is for you to drop by one dark corner of Footfall Shadow Quarters and pound it into the thieves' heads that taking Hedari's property carries certain risks. All right, I suspect uh, that Villadam wants to keep the cargo out of your hands and uh, wants to put him in his place. I want to put him in his place. Um, the Liege is ne neglecting his duties. I shall become your May patron. May the exalted one bless you and your progeny. Then here's what we'll do. We shouldn't be seen together before we make it to the safe house. I'll head there first. I'll take my own special route, so I won't be spotted. Right. Here, that's where those ash mags are keeping the stolen cargo. Out the bar, over the bridge, and to the left. There, in the depths, you'll find a small courtyard, through which you can get to the place. I'll be waiting nearby. You can come when it suits you, but the sooner you do, the better. I'll see you then, Sherin. Okay, so we got our first real task at hand, finally. A little bit of uh, an uh, action here. Embrace true power. This guy has been shooting himself. Why is he standing? gotten anything and we haven't made any 
any money, which is a bit of a problem. Minus two profit factor that hit us hard. Alright, in the meantime, let's go to the shadowy quarters and follow her quest. I think that is uh, quite interesting. Good, let's move into the shadowy quarters. Uh, Argento says, Rogue Trader, I would like to remind you that the revered uh, Hieronymus request, he asks us to search for potential cultists. Um, do you think the r rumors of heretics are true? There was a time when I say uh, it's likely fabrication. One say many things about uh, the mission, uh, but the shady operators in Footfall and those are all, those who are often loyal to the uh, Emperor. Uh, but now heretics have launched open attacks on the rogue trader ship. That's true. He told us to look for sun symbols inscribed in blue and gold. Hieronymus suspected certain individuals of heresy and rumors uh, to mark their hideouts. Alright, she's also been weighted down. I suppose I could share my tale with you, but the tale will be long and I will have to start from the beginning. I wasn't born in the Expanse. I was sent here to be a guardian of the uh, reliquary on Footfall. But my ship became caught in the warp an anomaly, and although it lasted only a few days on board, decades has flown by in real space. When I arrived at Footfall, it felt like I've been erased from time. No one was waiting for me on the side of the Maw. The people who were supposed to greet me, who knew about my imminent arrival, have died. The reliquary that should have been mine uh, to safeguard had instead been taken under the protection of Reverend Hieronymus and his brethren. There were more than... Uh, enough to keep up the task. They had no need for my help. Footfall became my cage, and I didn't want, um, and I didn't know who I was or what purpose I had here. The way back to Calexis seemed like another trap. Even uh, if I were to find the ship heading there, my sector, my order, they would all have lived decades without me by this point. Whenever I reminded, I was reminded of those months spent in Footfall. I felt like I was falling in a pit. I can't wait to prove my bolter that 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 the world and the Imperium needs me. Okay. Alright, we must keep going. So, if we see heretic signs, perfect. Um, we were told, go left. What's that? Do you see that? We were told go left and that's the cultist's lair. Okay. You know what? Might as well do the cultists and now. Good old shootout uh, with these demon summoners is just what I needed to test out my new talents. Alright, let's go baby. Intriguing. Oh no 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 no. Should I divine our next step? There is a fervor in my soul. Who set up? Why is that always mixing, <coughs> mixing up my my formation? All right, let's try this again. Uh, Argenta. Restless. Blessed be the road that we take. I failed. Fantastic. She does have a head trauma. That's exactly what we need. My time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay.
I'd better myself through my service. This task should have been accomplished easily. Fantastic. Now she has also crippled like not great. Lots of trauma. The world will bow. Well, better that than ten people having uh, or all people having uh, these problems. The edge of daybreak, the edge of daybreak. Oh, that's a new one. Your existence is not but ashes. All of you will bleed! I love it. Good, Abelard stays here and we're going to F you up. I like that. Secondly, Argenta uh, shoots from over here. Saiken takes position back here. Right next to Cassia. Idira stays here. Pasco stays there. I think that's a good starting position for the battle. All right, Idira. Uh, let's start naturally with uh, assigning a couple of areas. Good. We'll do. This here is the back line, and that is the uh, the um, yeah back line, and that's the absolute back line. Okay, so for starters, I think everybody here should hear the word of the emperor and the protection it offers. I like that, and a little bit more damage wouldn't be bad as well, would it? What of course. Good. First decent attack. Um, we're moving over here so that we're inside uh, of uh, this area. I like it. Um, from here. All of you are scouted. Big fat shot. I like that. Uh, shift the area slightly to the back because the guy in the front is dead. And... Expose that sorcerer. We could either shoot low hit chances. I think instead, is that just a single target? No, it's in good. These guys, uh, we have now received seven percent armor and cannot be over penetrated plus two percent reflect uh, deflection. Uh, that's pretty good, Argenta. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. So. I'll do it. We're giving ourselves. As the Emperor commands, I act. We're giving ourselves a nice little burst of fire. Doubt is for the weak. We are then doing that. Nice little switcheroo. A 
As the Emperor commands, I act. And we got two stacks of versatility, right? Right? Yes, correct. Two stacks of versatility and we're good. Okay, uh, so much for our cover. So much for our cover. Uh, the only one still in cover is Argenta. Don't like that. Pascal already had his turn. I believe mm, yeah, we can we could uh, force you guys to come a little bit closer to one another but before we do that let's think about we need to shift an extra turn over so that these guys can heal for start if I may. Diria guess that and we're not close enough All right, change of plans. If we're not close enough. Then let's do the littlest stair. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I am a navigator. I didn't fully kill that uh, cultist. Luckily we have the dodging zone. Moves all the way over here. Heal Pascal. Free defense buff. Um, it will be done. Everybody here is supposed to attack me, and mm -hmm -hmm. can't attack Pascal as well. That wouldn't be right. We're victory is imminent. Continuing to try to slash this guy and, and making ourselves invulnerable it with bulwark. Chaos oh, there's quite a bit of veil degradation. I have to wonder, why can't we use Inferno? Are we silenced? Psychosomatic trauma. Oh, we have been silenced. I see. Well, that is cute, isn't it? With the exception that that does not really prevent Saiken from doing stuff, because we are still a sniper. One step closer. And two shots later, he has dealt almost a hun uh, almost 50 points of damage.
Um, <clears throat> well, move into the tactic zone. It's not great, but it's the best that we have at the moment. You see right? Blessed be the hand of the healer. And we're continuing to give everyone here the shield of the emperor. Pascal it's not doing super well here. We might need to tank that. I don't like the idea, but it might be the only thing that we can do at this point. Uh, the Sorcerer is very, very low uh, on hit points. Everybody here uh, gets more cover. That devil does have 500 hit points. I need to get rid of the smaller ones first. Nice, that's a fantastic hit. Let's try to kill this guy. Mm. And we're reducing Pink Horror's damage, which hopefully will uh, help. Can't really move anywhere, but at least Pink Horror is a little bit reduced. Okay, same problem as always. What do we do? I think it's clear Faith without deeds is worthless. That um uh, I need to build up versatility. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. Couple of nice hits. We can unfortunately not, not use run and gun. Uh, but we could use a grenade the next time. Might give her the grenadier talent so that she does have something to do as a free attack. Just to build up that versatility stack. Because I think versatility is the way to go here. Just need to do it faster. Right, we're getting if you insist, Lord Captain. This guy out of cover. Apparently that didn't work that well. Hmm. Let me think about it. Nice little burning grenade wouldn't be bad either. Uh, the veil degradation is relatively high. This here would be perfect, but it would hit our tank yet again. I think the benefits outweigh the negatives. Yeah, I think the benefits outweigh uh, the negatives.
Good. Abelard moves up, kills that sorcerer. And the question is, shall we go into the back line? Uh, maybe so. Why not? At your back and call. Victory is imminent. Getting both of them on me. And we're good. Well, now Pascal is tanking that pink horror. Not great. This here wouldn't be bad. Uh, our hit chances are pretty lackluster, so let's try the grenade. Great hit. Does it do anything? It said rending damage. I wanted to test those grenades uh, for a while. It. The guy is debuffed. But apparently it didn't do anything. We could still heal with Saiken. Um. Yeah, but medkits don't uh, work on range. Idira Thank you. needs to heal herself. And I think as Anything much is. as it uh, stings, the only thing that we're going to do is... Word of the Emperor and uh, staying alive at this point. Um, shifting the front line can't have overlapping zones, but we but can shift course. the front line to there. Pascal, we'd love to have you here. I also love to shove this uh, horror a little bit further away from us. Can we do that with all of the other stuff that we want to do? We want to debuff him, we want to open him. The answer is potentially not. Will a shove really work wonders for us? Potentially not. Reducing, opening. Getting into a better position and... Gives us better dodge. He's just tanking at this point. We're using a, an awful lot of actions on defense. That might be a mistake. Here are a couple of offensive actions. As the Emperor commands, I act. Good hit. Let's go with wildfire. I'll do hit it again. Run gun. As the Emperor commands, I put you, my Emperor. Hit again. I refuse. Uh, how many stacks do we have? Five. So single shot bolter and single shot sniper are the exact same outcome. Uh, just that the single shot sniper is better. Um, but yeah, we're at five stacks of versatility. Like I said, grenadier would potentially be the right call. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. All right. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Abelard, you get that. 
And you get that. And whilst you're right over there, you also get a turn. I am a navigator, not a servitor. And the turn he shall use. I will do my duty. Nice little strike. Uh, we take and that. Back and call. It will be done. And that. Carl's leader is now getting a nice little pounding. Alright, Al Abelard heals himself. Field medicine at its finest. Um Andy. And we're Victory is imminent. Going to town to this guy. We'll rule the stars themselves. At your beck and call. One. Oh come on. For 80% uh, chance to hit, we're hitting very, very seldomly. Finally. Alright, this horror. We will hit it. Accept my offering. We are then going to burn I it. Will triumph. Oh yeah, Saiken also gets a couple of versatility sex. Why only one? Oh, because it needs to be an AOE attack. No, right. Versatility. Um, single shot, single target melee, area, melee, area shot or burst. Uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Area shot. I thought the staff. Well, my. Hmm. Contested now. The ruin beckons. Good. We're going to use uh, the staff the next time. Iridia moves up. Uh, On it. That and that. And let's shout at uh, scream at the horror. Get one. <clears throat> Pascal moves up. Uh, let's move that zone right there. Listen, we're going to expose this guy here, very much so. <laughs> and we removed cover. Uh, yeah. My vow is to serve. Couple of bolter fire shots. I like that. I'll 
I'll do it. Uh, followed by the a sniping. Strike is a prayer. And for her versatility works very, very well. I have discovered a new technique. AoE attack. Forced AoE attacks. <laughs> Isn't this a job for the serfs? Emperor, give me strength. Little little stair gets the cultist leader down. Follow my lead. And you and I it will be done. have a bone to pick, my friend. Good. That and that. Indeed. And taunting. It will be done. And hitting for 44. Hope. Okay, Saiken goes in. I want to see that versatility pick up now. Good, it's not a great hit chance, but that's not about it. I want to see if this it's first of all a cool animation and second of all it gives you versatility that's what I was um, thinking about and I think concentrated fire and this inferno can work very well together Pascal, that and that. And moving that here, then moving there ourselves. Matter of fact, to here. Guys, okay. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Good, we're at versatility eight, which means wildfire costs only one. Fantastic. Um Isn't this a job for the serfs? That plus the enemies are going in a second. So let's do this here, debuff both of them, and do this here, force them over, but apparently that didn't trigger an attack of opportunity. I will do my duty. Good, this one is taunted, this one has resisted. It would be great to see just resist messages. And AoE damage. Nice. Good job, Abelard. 
You're the man. You're the man with a plan. Good, we're moving up because I don't want to hit my colleagues with what is about to come. Good hit. Shift into that and... That. I will demise. Oh, fabulous. Destiny. Into that. Reshaped. This is beneath me. Uh, had the wrong weapon in hand. No, no, no. I'm not going to summon even more demons. We are not doing that. We're just not. In the Empyrean. On it. Good, Pasco. Takes fire inquisition. Hits this guy. And we're good. It ended just as well as I thought it would. Cultus leader. Of course you know them. I recognize you too. Lecker, uh, of the corpse of the throne. Haven't you already experienced the power of the true god? Didn't you flee from us? Shedding tears. I'm the one who... Um, I'm one of the Adepta Soritas. And I've never, not once in my life, fled from heretics and betrayed humankind. How do you see he's trying to, uh, to get under your skin? I bet he wants a quick bullet to his head instead of a bonfire. Uh, Argenta, wait. We need to interrogate him. What do you want to know, servants of the corpse emperor? The names of my brethren, how many of us there are, where we are, I will tell you myself. We are a myriad and we are everywhere. Soon, very soon, you will hear our voices. And when you hear them in your back, so close that you can feel our breath, then you will know the power of the true God. Uh, should you encounter difficulties during information extraction process, I would recommend precise targeting of ganglia. Cultus chuckled, uh, chuckles arrogantly, but uh, pales under uh, Pascal's calm, probing gaze. All right, how do you know Argenta? I haven't seen her in footfall in another place. She flew right in, like a bird into a snake. Salus Prime, says Argenta. What is he talking about? A planet, a place? It doesn't matter. I know these heretics. I fought them and was grievously wounded, but I swear I've never turned from them and ran. If you truly have seen uh, me on Salus Prime, someone amongst uh, you must have known a way to get there. Do you have your own ship and navigator? Answer me. Ships, maps, roads and doors. We have them all. But our paths are not for you. The true god spins his web and you are but flies caught into it. But where's the spider? I need something more concrete. Rogue trader, we won't get anything from this madman. As part of my story I will tell it. But not here, not in his presence. Who or what is this true god you keep mentioning? You will know in time. Calda says you can't kill me, servant of the corpse emperor, but you can stop the vict you can't stop the victory of the true god. The edge of daybreak is nigh. The hour of his triumph approaches. That's it. We fulfilled Reverend Hieronymo's request, which means I'm now free. I can continue to travel with you. Before we leave this den, let us round up what remains of the blasphemers. I would like to cleanse up this place with fewer purifying flames, but perhaps we can find clues that tell us more where these heretics came from. We need to talk, but that can wait. Let's meet on the ship. Good. Uh, 
Let's put a lot of uh, old stuff. The stuff that we're not using. Auto guns and such. And uh, let's put that here. Unfading Valor. The Diviner Staff was pretty much S. We're not taking that. Ten to sixteen, ten to seventeen. Okay, then this needs to go. I'm just uh, ruling out the old uh, stuff. Stun revolver might be fine, but we also got a nice other one-hand weapon. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe no one is profi uh, proficient uh, with uh, plasma. Uh, yeah, these. Uh, sap carabine rate uh, rate of fire one yeah that's not good and we got heavy leather armor which I think only one character can really carry and a cultist hood when the wearer uses a psychical power they restore 2 AP or take 10 warp damage hmm the question is Yes. Do we really want that to happen? Hmm. Is it the first one or whenever? Oh, it's an attack power. <coughs> uh, that could be good, but it could also be absolutely maddening. We're going to find out. Anyways, a couple of consumables restocking, uh, such as that. I'm at your service. And that. Did you want something? Join me in prayer. Argenta is Do fine. An Listen, my ascension has only just begun. And uh, Saiken takes another one of these grenades. Was well, actually a pretty decent uh, choice. The world trembles beneath my feet. Good, we're cleansing that entire place. My success is an irrefutable certainty. All right, when the t um, when the wearer rises momentum to 175, uh, whenever they kill five enemies in a, uh, the wearer rises momentum to 175 whenever they kill five enemies in a row in one turn. That is a fantastic option. The question is, who can do that? Technically, uh, Saiken. And I think. Hmm. I think that's that is a really uh, good the pair of shoes. Sets my path. Argenta, you oftentimes you oftentimes struggle to reposition. So let's do that. My aspirations. Your seneschal is all. Should I divine our next step? I guide humanity between the stars. All right. What kind of shoes does she have? These boots grant the wearer plus three dodge until the end of the combat for each psi power they use. That's not bad. It's actually really good on her. That is really good I'll on guide her. I'll vessel and lead you on your way.
What advice and do you Abelard see? has like what? Charge costs less, that's he really is. good. And Idira does not have boots, so might take these. I tread a path unexplored. All right, I think that's a good um, place to stop it. I need to kind of heal up and get everything back in order. Then uh, talk to a pe uh, to the um, Hieronius, the guy that gave us the task, and. Then we need to, in the next episode, go and uh, fight some stealing scumbags that are also in this very region of the Shadow Quarters. Not a surprise that the Shadow Quarters seem to be the area where all of the bad stuff is happening. For now, we're done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cleansing of the heretics. Uh, they are thoroughly cleansed and... We're going to see each other in the next episode. Take care, have a good one, and bye-bye.